Good morning everyone, let's namaskar, type our kundalini and put ourselves into bandha. to have your company as always there we go uh, let's just begin with the three great mantras and um, the Ganesha mantra and then we're going to listen to um, it's called the sound of the Kundalini and um, we'll do that and then we'll listen to mother's talk so let me just find where we are okay Three great mantras. Okay, that doesn't seem to be working, so let's just do Om Twami Vasakshan Shri Maha Lakshmi Maha Saraswati Maha Kali Triganat Mika Kundalini Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Om Twami Vasakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha 
Om Tami Va Sakshan Shri Kelki Sakshan Shri Sahasrara Swamini Moksha Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri bless us with your vibrations today and every day. Let's do a mantra to Sri Ganesha. Om Twami Vasakshan Shri Ganesha Sakshan Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimla Devi Namo Namaha Triganesha, please give us the dedication and the surrender that you have to your Holy Mother. And now we're going to listen to the sounds of the Kundalini. And I realised why it wasn't working before. Because I had the sound down on my speaker. <laughs> Let's see. Just start it again. One second. Now that I've got the sound working. Okay. Here we sing three times on Sa. Sa. attention to the Swadhisthana Chakra and here we sing on Re.
our attention to the Nabi Chakra. And here we sing on God. attention to the heart chakra. And here we sing on Ma. attention to the Vishuddhi Chakra. And here we sing on Pa. attention to the Agya Chakra.
attention to the Sasrara Chakra. Here we sing on knee. Lastly, we sing one time on the high side.
just trying to find. Today's meeting is very special. It's a very, very special day also, extremely special and very blissful. The reason is it talks and sings and tells about the born order, born power, the original Adi, the primordial, and this one is responsible for creating this great universe. Why this has started and how it works out is already you know. I need not talk about that. But today we have to talk about this power which is hidden in your hearts by which you can do whatever you like to create a new world, a new family, a new standards, everything that is not known so far. That is quite possible. That is quite possible and it's being done, but what is difficulties? How to make people more adaptable, more in tune with each other? Absolutely. It seems to be a difficult thing. They are all right among themselves if they have own friends, their own styles and things. But to make them absolutely one, one with each other, in one tune, in one line, is very, very difficult. And it should not be done. That's not supposed to be. They are not supposed to be like that. But it has to work out. Now the problem is we have beautiful people, beautiful souls, but they do not become so one with each other as they should have. Now how to solve this problem? Many people have asked me, Mother, how to make that? problem. I just smiled. Because if you see the original idea, why we started this X-ray, why we started this new kind of a understanding, new kind of penetration because we wanted to find out the oneness, the newness in every person. Now you should be very much thankful that you are all one, one inside, there's nothing second, there's only one and that one when it speaks and when it wants to ad administer something, then you'll be amazed 
that it's all done the same way. It's the same thing and it works out the same way. There is no change, there's no difference between the two. Despite that, despite that, our minds are roving, roving into some sort of a problem which has no significance in Sahaja Yoga. Now the main problem that we have is that we don't realize that we have no problem. We are without any problems. We think that there are problems and we should deal with problems, but there are none, none of those problems are there. I don't see any problem anywhere. Those who think they have problems, I've asked them to write it down and I'll try to answer them and tell them what sort of a problem it is. But before I could do anything, I would like to say that still our Sahaja Yogis are not come to that level to understand the oneness, the uniqueness in their hearts of their oneness. All this comes from within, not from without. So all efforts made outside is of no use. We have to be effortless and become what we are. There you'll find we there's no nothing within. There is no need to have another another uh, meeting or any other coding something. No need. It's all there. Just you have to be that, to become that. This is rather difficult to understand for people who have different noses, different faces, different everything, to become the same. But you are, you are, because you don't know that you are, that's why you are looking different. So I have to tell you one thing, that you are all one. One in the sense that Your everything, impulse, every feeling, every understanding is the same. Only thing is that it arises at a long time, at different times, and it gives you a wrong impression that it is different. But actually it is not. It is only one, one relationship and the relationship is with the Adi Shakti. That you are a part and parcel of Adi Shakti. That whatever one may try, one cannot get separated from Adi Shakti. You are born out of her and you are guided by her, you are looked after her. Everything seems to be one to me, while you people think there is a different line of course, line of action, which is wrong. Whatever I may say, it has to be proved. Otherwise, why should you accept such a ghastly statement? <coughs> Myself, I am one with you and I am always will remain the same with all of you. For me there is no difference. I don't see anything like that. It's outside, it's only your clothes and your style. Inside, maybe what temperament you have depends on your temperament. If that temperament changes a little bit, you will see the oneness among all of you and the differences will be lost in no time. Today I saw a very dangerous man. I thought he can kill me if he wants, he can do whatever he likes. But no, it didn't happen. Why? Because I never understood him. 
He was not like that. He just wanted to show his respect. He didn't want to kill me or didn't want to do anything wrong. It's very surprising how you understand each other. Unless and until you have proper understanding of each other, you cannot achieve anything that is sober, that is essential, that is right, that is the truth. So the truth started long time back, much before anybody would think of having a truth here. It's all went off with so many things which were not truthful. And then the truth went away. Like we, I would say that the snake. Snake was born out of ignorance. Then the other snakes started supporting. Snakes after snakes, they started growing up and filling the whole universe with dishonesty and with wrong ideas and believing in it and started fighting, killing each other. But they were all snakes. So how much one should believe in their nonsense? How much one should follow their nonsense? How much anybody should accept their nonsense? It's very difficult, but it is acceptable much more than the truth. The truth is not so very easily accepted as the untruth is. Why? Because we are standing in untruth. Our own understanding is untruth and we we'll have to change our understanding to truth, which is not difficult because we are truth. We are the truth. To become the truth which we are, why should it be difficult? should not, but it happens. So that means there is something wrong somewhere within us which we should find out. And the thing that is wrong with us within is that we cannot face ourselves. We cannot face ourselves. We face others, not ourselves. We never see ourselves. We have no idea as to what our own situation is. And for that is only you needed a mother to show you. And that's how the mother came in on this earth to tell you what's the problem with you within. This one is to be accepted. This principle has to be practiced. And you'll be amazed at yourself how much you have already in knowledge about yourself and about all these surroundings. There's nothing so special, nothing so extraordinary, but only thing is you have to be acceptable to yourself. I think people are becoming Sahaja Yogis, but they are not. They are not Sahaja Yogis, but they are trying to become. On the contrary, they should know that they are Sahaja Yogis and they don't have to become anything. Then there is no problem. But when you accepted that there is Sahaja Yoga different and Sahaja Yogis are different and you are different, then how can you become Sahaja Yogi? The thing is, is the ignorance, is the ignorance that we have, that we are behaving like strangers towards each other. It's complete ignorance. We have to know that we are all, all the same. There's no need to have any ignorance of any kind. And when that happens, the problems of the whole world will be solved without any difficulty. Today's puja is a special one because you are doing the puja of something that would never went into any transformation, which was not changed at all. It was just the same, remained the same, born with the same and is still with the same. In such a puja, 
What do I have to say? Why anyone has to say? Nothing. Just be one with yourself. That's the point we come to, that we have to be one with ourselves and not to get it lost in the words or in the atmosphere or in the other, our movements of mind. Because this is the time when the brain starts moving and when it starts moving it loses its control over himself, like a snake. Unless and until it is in its own place, there is no danger. But as he starts moving, there is a danger to him. In the same way, we have to know that our mind is very, very difficult and should not go into wrong direction. For that we have to do the primordial Mother's Puja because we should try to be on the line of primordial Mother. We have to keep ourselves primordial. We have to work out our primordial Self and not to change ourselves for any rhyme or reason. This will be the best thing if we can achieve it. I'm sure we can, not such a problem. Only thing is that we are so conscious of being Indians, being uh, English, being English, European and all that, but we are not, we are just ourselves and that's what we have to achieve, that oneness with ourselves. May God bless you all.
Let's do the last of the three great mantras. Om Dwami Vasakshan Shri Kalki Sakshan Shri Sahastrara Swamini Moksha Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha I hope you're all feeling the vibrations. I feel it quite strongly and feel quite silent in some aspects. We can just meditate uh, quietly for a few more minutes before we finish up um, in your own time. Um, namaskar, type your kundalini, put on a bandhan and have a really beautiful Sahaj day. Jai Shri Mataji.
Cheers from energy, everyone.